So I recently did a tutorial um, called Action Script 3 Video Basics, which just takes you through some of the basics of doing video with Action Script 3. Um, well, now I want to do one that deals with sound because there's been some significant changes uh, when it comes to dealing with sound inside of Action Script 3. So uh, the sound file that I'm going to be using is just a little loop that I made in GarageBand um, and it's named sound.mp3 and I just have it on my desktop and I'll include that in, in the, uh, the zip file for to use um, or you can swap out for your own uh, sound file if you want. So I'm just going to create a new Flash ActionScript 3 file inside of Flash CS3 and I'm just going to save that to the desktop and I'm just going to call it sound.fla. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how to um, import sounds into the library and play them with ActionScript. Um, and obviously the process of importing the sound into the library hasn't changed. So I'm just going to go to File, Import, Import to Library. And then now I get to choose where my hard drive, obviously, uh, my sound file is. So it's on the desktop called sound.mp3. So I'm going to import it to the library. And let me just make some space here. Okay, so now we can see it here in the library. So if I click, click on it, I can see the waveform. And I can start playing... Uh, the sound here in the library. So very similar to uh, previous versions of Flash, I can right click and go to properties and then now I get the properties for the sound where I can set up things like um, you know the quality, the export settings. Since it's an mp3 by default it's going to use the same quality um, as it came in as um, which is what I would want. Um, and just like when you um, have movie clips we have a basic and advanced tab here. So if you're not going to be adding the sound to the timeline, dragging it onto the stage, and you want to play it using ActionScript, um, just like with a movie clip, you need to give it a linkage. You need to check off export for ActionScript and then give it a class name. So I'm just going to call it the loop. So now inside of my ActionScript, I can now dynamically um, add this to my movie and play it, which is what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I have that. Now I have the linkage set up. I'm um, going to rename this first layer to Actions, like I always do, and lock it. And I'm going to open up the Actions panel. Okay, so um, one of the major differences is when you're dealing with library assets is you can instantiate them directly. So since I gave that sound a linkage identifier of the loop, so it's actually a class. So if I wanted to play that sound, I would just create an instance of it. So I'm going to call it TL for the loop. And then I'm literally going to data type it to the loop is equal to new the loop. Okay, so now I've created an instance of that sound and it's actually extending the sound class so I have all the properties and methods of the sound class so to play it I just say tl.play. We can test it. So now we can see that sound is playing or hear that sound is playing rather. 